Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in Let's Talk Diesel, we are going to talk about how to do the regeneration or part regeneration. Many drivers ask me the question, this question so many times in the day. So I suppose I had to do a video for that. And we're gonna start with the International LT 2018 and above okay first thing you need to know when you need to know when the truck is asking for region okay as you can see uh, the lie on the on the dash is on requesting uh, part region but right now is solid okay this is the first stage all right usually and couple of trucks, not all the manufacturers does this, but in your visor, in your sun visor on the top, okay, as you can see right now here, it tells you the stage of the of the light, of the lights, right? You see, you have the solid light, you have the flashing, and the flashing with the sound, okay? The same goes for the DEF system, or the fluid, right? You had the first stage, the second stage, and the third stage. You know, usually the third stage is the worst because your truck is in the array and usually trucks don't take regen uh, manually. You need the diagnostic tool to do the regeneration, all right? It's good for the driver to always pay attention what the sound visors say about how to do regen, okay? So, all these lights that you see in here they put it as a reference okay so read it uh, carefully if you don't know how to operate trucks like 2019 and above all right so to do region and the internationals lt it's really simple okay you can see if i go to the messages Okay, remember you need to move with this button in here. Okay, we go to the messages or alerts in this case, and we go to engine. In the engine, you say you see it says power region needed. But if I press OK, OK here. Okay, you see nothing happens. There is because your truck comes with a inhibit switch that it's here. You see it says power region. So to start part region, make sure you are in a safe place. Uh, remember, always check your surroundings. Like there's nothing flammable, okay? And you start. And these trucks, you just need to make sure part brake is on, okay? So the trailer brake is on because this one is automatic. See, there's. Sorry, guys. Uh, you can see there is like no clutch in here. So, to do regen is simple. You just press this button in here. And you see, the RPM goes high. And you have to wait until the RPM goes back to idle. Okay, I mean 600 RPM. All right. And this is the way you do part regeneration on the international LT 2018 and above. Now we're gonna check the next one. Now we are watching the instrument cluster for uh, Cascadia 2017 and above. Okay. And to do the region on this one, right? To start, and this apply to all engine models, make sure the water temperature goes above at least 125 to perform the regeneration because in uh, in Volvos I think it's 100 above 100 it will take the region it will warm up until 130 or 150 and it start the region but usually you should warm up the engine before it start doing the part regeneration Okay, this is the main the main menu, the home screen that you're gonna 
see pretty much all the time when you are driving these Cascadias. Some drivers has these screens, another one has this, let me see. Other ones has the speed. Usually this one of these two usually is the ones that pop ups every time you turn on the engine. So to do the region on these ones, you have to move to the right with these buttons in here. Okay, you move to the right one until you see this gauge in the middle when it's the uh, truck figure. You see it over there, all right? Then you go down and press down again, and you see this uh, diesel particulate filter. And you see to start region, press OK. That's this button in the middle okay so you're gonna press ok and you say to start regeneration press ok again so press it again and as you can see right now it will not take it because the light is not on okay light should be on in order to perform the region that's another thing you need to know some trucks might take the region if the light is not on and it's uh, having problems with the SCR issues, but it's really rare. Usually you are required to use the diagnostic tool in order to do region if your truck if the truck has a SCR issue, something related to the DEF system. Okay? So if your truck doesn't is asking for region and it doesn't take it and this Cascadia is used, you can dig in a little bit more than internationals. In internationals, the only thing you can do is just check the codes, okay? And this one, you can check the codes as well, but it's gonna give you a, a small idea to what's going on with your truck if you dig in more. Uh, as you can see now, we're gonna highlight the wrench in there, the next, going to the right. And you see we have alerts we press ok in alerts right now since it's zero it doesn't do anything but if you have any alert if you press ok it's going to show you which alerts do you have but we can see in diagnostics you see we have software update in here but if you have a thing it's a, it's a subscribe service from freilander so you can update the uh software you know wirelessly but i don't know i'm not sure how that works that will be for another video guys and the fur the 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 module that controls the the uh the dpf filter is the acm you see you press ok in acm and if there is any fault related to it it's gonna show in here like for example right now it says no fall detected so but if it shows still it's gonna show you like two or three falls and you still can press ok and it's gonna give you a small idea to what's going on with your truck all right that's the you know the basic stuff you need to do and how to do the regeneration or part regeneration on these cascades and remember if you have any question about how to do region, you can check the visors <laughs> on here. But sadly, Freiliner, I don't know why they removed the sticker they have in here. It's not there anymore. But you should consult the operator's manual. Know how to, uh, if you, you, if you want to know a little bit more about what other things you can do with your instrument cluster. I know many of you know this instrument cluster belongs to Volvo trucks between 2010 and 2016 so I'm gonna explain how to do the region because many old school drivers especially 50 year and above uh, ask me how to do the region on these trucks so the first thing you will do this is your main screen this is what you're gonna see all the time and you can see we have the the wiper switching here but it's built in with those the, these two buttons in here escape and enter and the uh, and the up and down switch all right so to do the region 
you might have to make sure the light is on the region light usually is here in the corner uh, it could be solid or flashing and you have to be sure the uh, coolant temperature goes above at least uh, 100 125 up to 150 so it will take the region so first thing we're gonna do is trying to go up to the menu we press enter you see this arrow here this one will take you to the menu as well but this one's just to escape all right if you want to access the menu it won't allow you to do it because if i pray escape once it's gonna show me the menu and if i pre press down escape again it's gonna exit the menu so the one we need to use is this one to enter the menu so we press enter and we go down with these two on the side and we press enter and after treatment okay and after treatment we had two options request part region and check the ATS status okay so to request part region we just press ok and you see it says data transfer in progress it probably is checking all the conditions that met but at this time it say part region conditions not met check ATS status menu so to check the ATS status menu we go down here right now it will not take the region because it's not requesting it okay so if you have the uh, region light on and it doesn't take the region the ATS status might give you an idea to what's going on okay see if your truck is a, a stick shift all right it means the clutch uh, signal will be say okay if it say check you have to uh, check the pedal maybe you have to pull up the pedal and it might say okay after that okay Cyber, service brake is not available at this time PTO status it's uh, this thing here you see if I accelerate like this it might say uh, it's not okay but right now it doesn't say nothing right let's see okay so maybe the switch on this one is messed up so but at least it says okay now it should say check when you uh, try to accelerate like this see let's wait one more time all right at this time say okay but it usually says check if you had the <coughs> the uh, if you raise the rpm you should say check you see accelerator pedal if i hit the Now it says okay, probably. Now it says check, okay. That's the way it has to work. Okay, neutral, make sure it's no in gear. For example, if I engage any gear, you see it says check. All right, and so on. So that's the way you need to check if all the conditions met, especially that one that says system fault. If it says check, it's because the check engine light is on, like this. All right, or it says check here on the middle. Okay. See, you get that's the way you check everything here okay engine temperature should say okay when you're gonna start the region otherwise it won't start inhibiting switch is okay and the suit level gauge usually if this one goes about ab above the average it will ask you for region if your truck doesn't ask you for region uh, uh, I have seen some trucks the suit level is above the average but doesn't ask region until it gets to level two all right so that's the way you check the ATS status you see everything is built in the after treatment if you want to check the the foul cuts in the diagnostic area you will go down see with the arrows we go to diagnostic and we go be, act, be active faults and we check the engine ECU if there isn't like for example you see right now there is a active fault it's not related to the uh, after treatment but 
you can check but it doesn't say anything else you see the DTC doesn't show anything all right and let me see you, uh, you can check after treatment as well all right but right now we we'll say no faults so that's a quick overview why you need to check uh, your truck okay I I stay this is for you know 50 years old and above drivers because they ask me about this so I hope this helped you if you want to check it out how to do the part region in other trucks please check the second part of this video it will be pop up right now on your screen if you are done watching please stay tuned for more content to come and thanks for watching I will see you in my next video Bye.